after facing centuries of colonial rule, a challenging partition, and numerous conflicts between states, India has emerged as one of the most important and rapidly growing economies globally. In the years following independence, although the country made significant progress in various areas, many Indians still grappled with issues like poverty, inconsistent electricity, proper roads, and access to clean water. Urban areas enjoyed privileges that rural areas lacked, leaving a vast majority of the rural population without basic necessities. Today, the Indian government is focusing on mega-projects aimed at improving lives. These projects go beyond infrastructure. They are key elements in India's plan to lift millions out of poverty, create jobs, bridge the urban-rural gap, and establish India as a global infrastructure powerhouse. So let's delve into some of the most incredible mega-projects currently transforming the landscape of India. Welcome to Superstructures! In the early 2000s, there was a noticeable need for a connection between the Indian Union territory of Jammu and Kashmir. This region faced challenges in terms of proper infrastructure, mainly due to its notorious weather conditions. Addressing the transportation issue became crucial, leading to the initiation of a significant project in 2002 under the Northern Railway, declared a national undertaking. The project involved the construction of a railway bridge with a total length of 1,315 kilometers, soaring 0.359 kilometers above the Chennab River, earning the title of the world's highest rail bridge. The railway route passes through Bakal and Kauri in the Riyasi district of Jammu and Kashmir. Construction faced temporary halts in 2008 due to stability and safety concerns, but the government ensured its resumption in the same year. The design and construction of the project were entrusted to AFCON's infrastructure, a part of the esteemed Shapurji Palanji Group, in collaboration with IISC Bangalore. Additionally, there was a partnership with the Defense Research and Development Organization to ensure the bridge's blast-proof characteristics. In August 2022, the final joint of the bridge was completed, marking a significant milestone, and the inauguration took place on August 13, 2022. This inauguration signifies a new era of rail connectivity for northern Jammu and Kashmir, offering resilience against extreme weather conditions. The enhanced connectivity is expected to unlock economic opportunities, particularly boosting tourism and fostering seamless transportation between regions to stimulate their economies. As of March 2023, track laying was finalized, and a successful trial run had been conducted. The bridge is scheduled to become operational by December 2023, or January to February 2024, eagerly anticipated for its official inauguration for rail traffic. The next project is linked to India's expansive sea and is often unofficially dubbed India's Bridge of Dreams, poised to transform the country into a transportation hub. Historical records from the 1960s mark the initial efforts of the Indian government to connect the island city of Mumbai with Navi Mumbai, giving rise to the construction of what is said to be India's longest sea bridge. This impressive bridge spans 21.8 kilometers, encompassing a 16.5 kilometer sea bridge and 5.5 kilometer viaducts on land at both ends. Situated in the Mumbai metropolitan region, it commences in Suri South Mumbai, crosses Thane Creek, and concludes in Churli Uran Navi Mumbai. The project, an integral part of Mumbai's broader transportation vision, encountered numerous challenges including feasibility concerns, political uncertainties, and environmental clearance issues. To overcome these hurdles, the project transitioned from a public-private partnership model to an engineering procurement and construction basis. In 2008, the project gained significant momentum, with global collaboration evident through the substantial investment of over $2.2 billion, with the Japan International Cooperation Agency playing a pivotal role by funding 80% of the total cost. During the execution of this project, a significant concern arose regarding its environmental impact, especially on mangroves and the habitats of indigenous birds. In response to this, after securing all necessary clearances, the construction plans were adjusted to minimize the adverse effects on the ecosystem. 
The government also took measures to compensate landowners and local communities that were displaced or affected to ensure the successful completion of the construction. In 2012, the Mumbai Metropolitan Region Development Authority proposed toll rates for the Mumbai Trans Harbor Link project, setting charges at 175 rupees for cars, 265 rupees for light commercial vehicles, 525 rupees for buses and trucks, and 790 rupees for multi-axle vehicles. Later, in 2016, the Japan International Cooperation Agency, the primary financial supporter of the project, recommended higher toll charges. With escalating costs, it was anticipated that the toll rates implemented upon the project's completion would be even higher. Toll collection will utilize an open road tolling system, and the MMRDA has confirmed that tolls will remain in effect until the year 2045. Upon its anticipated completion and opening in January 2024, this bridge is poised to become the future of transportation in India. With a projected daily usage of 70,000 vehicles, it promises to revolutionize connectivity between Mumbai and Navi Mumbai. Communities such as Panvel, Ladlapur, Gonsoli, Amburnath, and many more stand to benefit significantly from this construction, resulting in a substantial reduction in travel time. The bridge will seamlessly connect major roadways and the proposed Navi Mumbai International Airport, triggering a surge in property demand in its vicinity. Real estate developers are already rumored to be strategically positioning projects near MTHL in anticipation of this increased demand. What makes this project noteworthy is its potential to generate numerous opportunities for businesses, employment, and investments. By streamlining transportation, it is poised to contribute to overall economic efficiency. The MTHL represents more than just a physical bridge. It symbolizes a path toward a more prosperous and interconnected future for the entire region. Our next featured project is the ambitious government initiative to establish 100 technologically advanced cities in India. The Smart Cities mission, launched in 2015, aims to leverage the cutting-edge technology to enhance the lives of city residents. As of February 2022, the mission has made remarkable progress. With a portfolio comprising 5,151 projects and a budget exceeding 2,005,018 crore rupees. What sets this initiative apart is its tangible impact, evident in the issuance of work orders for 6,222 projects worth 1,644,888 crore rupees, and the successful completion of 3,480 commendable projects with a budget consumption of 59,077 crore rupees. A significant event in support of this mission was the National Smart Cities Mission Convention held on September 26 and 27, 2023, in Indore where President Drupadi Murmu demonstrated the government's unwavering commitment. With over 2,000 delegates from 100 smart cities participating, the convention provided a platform for sharing insights, innovations, and challenges garnering substantial public attention and awareness. Highlighting noteworthy progress in specific cities, it's worth mentioning that on October 25, 2023, Indore earned the prestigious title of Best National Smart City, a testament to its exceptional performance and a reinforcement of the mission's objectives. Furthermore, Madhya Pradesh achieved recognition as the best state under the Smart Cities mission, showcasing commendable efforts at the state level. Specific cities like Shimla are actively seeking tenders for improved parking spaces, while Srinagar is gearing up to unveil an impressive 80 km of cycling tracks. Despite these successes, some cities face challenges, as exemplified by Goa, which has communicated delays to the union ministry primarily due to approval hurdles. The Smart Cities mission is poised to make a substantial contribution to environmental, social, and governance factors, aligning with a broader agenda of sustainable development goals. Projections indicate that by 2030, India will see the emergence of 60 urban centers with populations exceeding 1 million residents and 6 megacities boasting populations surpassing 10 million. This swift urbanization is poised to redefine the nation's infrastructure, aligning with development initiatives observed in more advanced countries. Noteworthy among these initiatives is the Khan River Redevelopment Plan, designed not only to enhance the riverfront with recreational spaces, but also to contribute to the overall advancement of the city. 
Globally, cities feature vibrant riverfronts or waterfronts with public amenities, as seen in Chicago's Navy Pier and Melbourne's Docklands. This integration of technology and urban planning represents a significant stride for India as it aims to compete globally and elevate the quality of life for its citizens. Can India overcome its challenges and move towards economic stability and better human rights with these mega projects? Share your thoughts in the comments below. And don't forget to like, share, subscribe to Superstructures, and hit the bell icon. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you in the next one.